So this is a very affordable trading setup that anybody can use. Okay. So the first thing that you need is of course you need your laptop. Now you cannot just buy any cheap laptop because when you buy super super cheap and low quality laptops then it's going to break easily then you use it for one to two years and then it's you don't have to buy my laptop you can buy any laptop that supports gaming if you don't know anything about computers just ask the salesman can this laptop support gaming if yes then it will probably support your trading platform and also it will last long if you feel that one screen is not enough you can add another screen now you don't need to buy like big monitors just like this don't need because there are more affordable options this is a portable monitor okay so it's very lightweight relatively lightweight you can put this in your luggage i've put this in my luggage to travel so many times and it didn't break what you can do is that when COVID is over and you can travel again, you can bring this around and all you need to do is just plug in. Okay, let me just put this. Your HDMI cable. HDMI cable. This is a makeup tutorial. I'll plug it in here. Another cable. This is your power cable. USB cable. Plug that in. Okay, it's gonna appear anytime soon. Okay. What you need to do is just do some settings. Normally your laptop would have this option, okay? To extend, duplicate. So let's just put extend. So I can actually drag, okay? My charts over here. So for me, I normally use extend so that I can have two different windows at different screens so let's say if you want to read news you can just put the news your twitter feeds and economic calendars over here at one screen and then put your charts at another screen to become successful in trading you don't really need to have a lot of screens just that because i look at a lot of different markets for intermarket analysis and i also look at sentiment indicator sentiment that is why i need to use many different screens Okay. And if you want to add a third monitor, you can buy another portable monitor or you can just add a mounted monitor just like this. And also normally when I go to my office, I would bring this tool because it's lightweight portable. And if you're a beginner, you're on a budget, you can just use this tool on your trading desk and you can travel with it. That's the good thing. You don't even need a PC because a PC is just there being nice. And then the third thing is you're gonna have a phone with MT4 installed with your trading platform installed not to trade on it but so that when you go out when you go out and you want to monitor your trades you use your phone remember when I said that use your phone only to monitor your trades and use it to exit only if you should not because you feel like exiting then your phone is not meant for entry trade entry it's not meant for analyzing because studies have shown that if you use your phone to trade alone the chances of you losing money is going to increase if you don't believe me you can go ahead learn it the hard way when you use a small monitor it might be harder as compared to a larger monitor but it's still okay because even though the monitor is very small but it is very clear the most important thing is you can read what is happening in fact i think my smaller monitor right now is a lot clearer than my larger monitor so you can see the interface is pretty good you can buy any brand you want okay you don't need to buy my brand but if you want to copy mine i'll just put the details down in the description don't need fancy stuff to trade okay because most important thing is are you willing to work towards to becoming a successful trader that's most important you can have the best gadget in the world but if you're not willing to learn you're not willing to work hard on this craft nothing is gonna change you can give me a lamborghini but because i'm such a bad driver then it's no use if you want to know how to connect to many different monitors let me know so that i'll let you know which wires you should buy wires so that I can let you know which cables did I buy 
so that you don't waste money because there are certain cables that I bought I lost money and it's not usable because I just don't know computer stuff that's why I bought the wrong things okay so with that I'll talk to you in the next video bye